G'day folks, it's me Cheru, and today we're going to be playing a little bit more Hitman 2, where we're actually not even going to play as Agent 47 today, but we're going to be playing as Agent 47's very own grandmother, Mrs. Doubtfire. You see, unfortunately, Mrs. Doubtfire has a very severe case of dementia, and somehow she got it into her head that the entire neighborhood was plotting against her to put her into a nursing home. So naturally, she handled things in the only way that the Hitman family knows how, with a whole bunch of mass murder. So obviously, for this really stupid challenge and in the name of role-playing, I feel that it's only appropriate that we limit Mrs. Doubtfire to using items that only an 80-year-old woman would know how to use. You know, things like a technologically advanced agency lockpick, my lethal syringe MK2, which honestly is just for personal use, so if at like any point during this mission I decide that I want to end it, I can just shove it in my ass and die. Unfortunately, Hitman 2 doesn't have a throwable sandal, so I thought the remote explosive would be a good substitute for that. And of course, something that every 80-year-old woman has inside of her handbag, a fountain pen, which coincidentally just happens to have enough explosives packed into it to knock down a small building. So these young whippersnappers think they're gonna put me in a nursing home, huh? Grandma didn't come to play, motherfucker. Well, I'll be damned. God bless those developers putting my objectives in the top left corner of the screen so that every time I slip back into the deep dark recesses of dementia, all I gotta do is look up into the left and I remember exactly what it was that I was doing. Jesus Christ, it looks like I might be some kind of serial killer. You know what, looking at my face in the mirror, I'm pretty sure I am some kind of serial killer. Come to think of it, I should probably also vacuum the house before I go. Oh, that's right. This is one of those self-vacuuming vacuums where you just leave it on all day and when you get back in the evening, all of the dust is gone. And so is the entire house along with it. You know, I've been living in this house for about 80 years and I never liked the choice of artwork that the previous owner left hanging on the walls. Oh, the decor in this place is so painfully outdated. It's absolutely disgusting. I don't know if it's that or it's just the fact that I'm a 40-year-old man trapped in an 80-year-old woman's body. Uh... Anyway, I wasn't joking when at the start of this video I said that I was going to restrict Grandma Hitman to using only things that an 80-year-old woman would know how to use. Things like muffins, things like kitchen knives. Actually, come to think of it, I think you'd be the perfect person for me to try this out on. Oh, Mr. Gardener, uh, there's a problem with my fish upstairs. Do you think you can come and check it out? It's like old singing and dancing on the walls and shit. Thought it was dead. Seems to be alive. I'm terrified right now. <laughs> Probably turn the fish off before anyone else comes upstairs to check out what's going on. All right, now let's just pop you right here in the middle of the carpet. Now you kind of like a, oh my God, are you? Why did you have to go and dab? I love how when you turn on the tap, literally anybody else in the same building immediately knows that the sink is overflowing. It's like they've got Superman X-ray vision, but only for detecting overflowing sinks. Oh, hey there, young man. Just hold still for a second. Well, that's all I needed to know. Knife is sharp. Blueberry muffins are hard. You're in some weird ass to mouth 69 position. And I'm leaving. Actually, no. No, I'm not leaving just yet. Mm, mm, mm. I am looking fine. I don't look a day over... 110. Anyway, we got any other dumb shit lying around here that I can stuff in my pockets and use to kill innocent people? It feels kind of ironic that literally every single room I go into has a picture of Mary and Jesus, and here I am. <laughs> Murder grandma. <laughs> You know, it's moments like this that reinforce the potential benefits of pole dancing in elderly people. And of course, I've got a box of emetic rat poison in the attic. And honestly, I don't even use it to kill rats. But when you're as old and dried up as I am, sometimes you need that little bit of extra push to get the bowels moving in the morning. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to get to work. My God, what an absolutely glorious day it is outside today. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. I remember hearing something at Bridge yesterday about how our television sets are spying on us and the liberal left-wing media is using the TVs to spread fake news and turn the frogs gay. Do we have a TV in this room? God, this house is way too big for an 80-year-old woman. I don't... Here we go. Jesus, is that you? Also, I know what everyone's thinking. They're thinking, hold on a second. Isn't this grandma limited to using items that only a grandma would use? Need I point out that this is a small suburban American town where literally every single human cat and dog is carrying at least one gun on their person. So, like, people are generally pretty receptive towards old lady... Oh. Okay, never sir, mind. don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> Did you just call me sir? It is ma'am. Hey, pal, you might want to check on your mate over there. I think he's done himself a mischief. Anyway, back to the task at hand. It looks like all six of the people who are conspiring to put me into a nursing home are gathered together in the one location. Actually, come to think of it, I think they might all be part of the FBI. Especially this guy, this guy, and this guy. 
who are all exactly the same guy. So as far as I know, I need to kill all six of these people using the fumigator, which means that I need to find some kind of lethal poison to stuff into the air vents. And whilst I do have my lethal syringe MK2, which like I said at the beginning of this video, I brought so I could end my own miserable existence if I ever got bored. I'm pretty sure I can't turn the liquid inside of the syringe into a mist and stuff it into the air vents. Hello, officer. It's a lovely day, isn't it? I see you're having a little bit of a boys party inside. Don't worry, I won't disturb you. I know exactly what you're trying to organize, sending me to a nursing home, you motherfucker. Oh, it looks like somebody might have spotted me. That actually presents the perfect opportunity for me to vault my 80-year-old self through the window. My god, my athletic abilities never cease to amaze me. Pacify the bastard! Excuse me, I'm an old woman. Please have some respect. Oh my god, I told you, television sets spying on us and turning the frogs gay. All right, I need to find a place to hide, like, immediately before I end up dead. Ah, yes, the cupboard. The perfect place to hide. I'm sure they're never going to check in here. Real talk, though, you know how... How old people have a very distinct smell. The smell of, uh, well, of death. <laughs> yeah, I've got that. Hope it doesn't give me away. You know what? I've actually got a really, really good idea. A good idea involving an overflowing sink and a whole bunch of blueberry muffins. Hello there, young whippersnapper. All right, now we just wait. Wait for the next- oh, hi. Any minute now. All right, well, that was unbelievably silent considering I just whacked you in the head with a big metal wrench. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your content creator speaking. I regret to inform you that our protagonist is currently experiencing a dementia-induced blackout, which means that when we rejoin her, there is a good chance that she will have murdered the majority of the neighborhood and won't remember doing any of it. Please stand by. Well, gee, isn't this peculiar? The last 15 minutes of my life are an absolute blur, and for some reason, the house is full of bloodstains, and there are dead bodies all over the place. Oh yeah, and I'm carrying a submachine gun. Hm, strange. Anyway, I can only assume that all of these young men were friends, so they'd probably like to be buried to get- God damn it, we've got another dabber on our hands. You know, when I was a young lady, I had a fantasy just like this, where I'd drag a whole bunch of unconscious men into the bathroom, make a really big pile out of their bodies, and then lie underneath all of them. Granted, they weren't all dead at the time. Mm, mm, mm. I'd totally lick my lips if I actually had any on my face. Well, gee, this is a really nice pile of bodies that I've made here, but I'd be lying if I said I remembered why I did it. Anyway, now that I've got all of those lovely young men together in the same room, I can get around to fumigating the place for them. Oh, god damn it, you're kidding me. This is the fumigator, right? Oh. Son of a- My face when you waste one hour of your life dragging every single body that you brutally murdered into the bathroom upstairs only to find that the fumigator is attached to the goddamn window downstairs. Alright, well I've got this non-lethal rat poison that I guess I'll shove into the fumigator for shits and giggles. Then I'm gonna turn this bad boy on. And then I'm really, really curious to jump through the window and see what happens. Is this safe? Oh, probably not. Alright, so like, I've got a really bad feeling that the reason this isn't working is because they're all upstairs. So I'm gonna go full action grandma and try and sprint my way upstairs without dying. Oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Jump, jump out the window, jump out, jump up. Son of a bitch. Alright, like, so as far as I can tell, everybody's inside of the house right now, which means this is the perfect time for me to put my plan into action. And I just so happen to have a jar of lethal pills on me. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, <clears throat> that was, uh, yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. I just... Don't try this at home, kids. So now the fumigator rocks up on the scene. He's like, I'm going to go and check the house to make sure that all of the cockroaches are dead. You know, the funny thing about all of this is that when the police arrive, you know who's going to get blamed? <laughs> the fumigator. Uh, he doesn't really seem too perturbed, does he? Look at him. He's like, oh, well, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> this area is prohibited. Uh... Shut up. Well, Jonah Jameson, I had uh, great plans to toss you out of the second story window, but it seems like I can't actually do that, so. Say hello to my new friend! She protect, she attack, but most importantly, she shot that dude 30 times in the nutsack. So yes, I finished all of the objectives, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm only getting started. You! I told you once! You really didn't. This is the first time we've ever met each other. How does it feel to get teabagged by an 80-year-old woman? Huh? Huh? Hey! I'm gonna uh, pop! Oh. Sorry, I was just in the middle of teabagging. I really would appreciate if next time you wouldn't interrupt me while I was doing something as... important... 
is that? Anyway, before I leave this house and go to brutally murder the rest of the neighborhood, I think I'll, uh... Oh yeah, baby. I think I'll borrow this. You know, I'm starting to feel like this... Excuse me. As I was saying, I'm starting to feel like this grandma is going to become a role model for a lot of people after today's video. Oh, hey, I know this guy. It's the uh, the main character from L.A. Noir. Love that game. Ah, yes, my explosive pen. I knew that I'd remember to pick it up at one point or another. To anyone that ever said that grandmas can't parkour, bite me. All right, check this out. I'm going to toss this explosive pen over my shoulder. And, uh... <laughs> go away. I'm hot and you are not. Wow. Wow. I'm 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 an old person like you and I came over here thinking that perhaps we could have a civilized conversation with each other. Hold on. Wait, what? Where am I? It looks like the security guards are here. This should do the trick. Someone's making trouble. Not good. Possibly high on drugs. What do you mean possibly? You know what? If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out in a blaze of gunfire and glory. <laughs> 